Oh, and what we got? What do we have here? So the bait of choice this morning, gizzard shad. I'm just gonna chunk them up. Nothing fancy, medium sized chunks. And then I'm gonna cut some smaller chunks as well. Like that right there, that's a just a small, basically one and a half, maybe an inch, inch and a half wide piece. But I would consider that to be the best part of a gizzard shad right there. Now I like to get all of my rods hooked up before I cast out. I can keep everything separated good and lined up good. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, are you serious? Oh, there we go. We got him that time. Well, he took her down good too. A right, good first fish of the morning. He is definitely wild. Nice swim straight up river. Had a lot of rain yesterday and I didn't think that the river would come up <clears throat> and get as trashy as what it is as quickly as it is. Little Mr. Early season flathead. We'll take him. Come here, buddy. We can get him in here. Oh, come here, mister. Boy, he hammered that thing. And we will take him. First fish of the day. Little flathead, he's got mud all over his head and his back. Well, they're just starting to wake up. Let's get him back. There we go. There we go. Well, that didn't take long at all. We've only been here <laughs> less than a minute. Less than a minute. And we marked a tree up on the shallow right there. And this is the bank that gets, oh, get him up out of that tree. It gets the early sun and the most sun. So the water temperature over here on this side of the bank is about two degrees warmer than the water temperature over on that other side. So I thought this would be a good place to come in the afternoon and see if we could wrestle us up another flathead. A little bit shallower water, mud bottom, and we got a blue cat. <laughs> I thought for sure it'd be a flathead, but we will take him. Nice little blue cat. He took her down quick. Old head, got an old shad head. Boy, he's covered in mud too. Look at him. Now look at that mud right there. See that? I mean covered. There we go. Nice little blue cat. We will take him. Now today we're using the heavy action Hellcat rods. These are the orange ones from Big Cat Fever. Got them paired up with the Pin Squall 20 level wines. And then we got that spooled with some 50 pound uh, slime line from Catch the Fever as well. Now down here on the business end, we're using a, uh, we're using ADOT Boss Cats from TTI Blakemore. We got 80 pound heavy cover uh, leader line from Slime Line. Got a three way swivel on that with just a snap. Now we did have some dropper loops on here, but I noticed the fish were covered in mud and real lethargic. So we went ahead and switched all the, most of them out. We got a couple out there and just put regular snaps on, put our weight, uh, get it closer to the bottom, shorter leaders, things like that. I believe I got one on right here. Yeah. Oh, and what we got? What do we have here? This feels like a decent fish. I was actually reeling her up to get ready to head to the house. Had one take her down. Oh man, what do we got? Well, it's been a tough day. Slow, slow, slow. We had a couple weather systems move through and it just absolutely shut everything down. Looks like we might have a 
finally caught a decent one here. Nice to get the old Hellcat bent over pretty good. Oh yeah, feels heavy. Man, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, oh I love it. I'm gonna guess another flathead. Caught a couple flathead smaller ones. Good sign, things are finally starting to come alive. Oh yeah, nice flathead. Look at there, look at there folks. Well he just barely hooked too. Just barely hooked. Now what, Mr. Flyhead, what are you doing out here in the middle of the river? Come here, buddy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, we'll take that. And... Nice. Nice flathead. Yes, sir. -y. All right, here he is, folks. Nice early season flathead. Big old head on that joker. Look at him. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Well, folks, that is what you call getting schooled by the fish. Uh, today was a tough, tough day, but we was able to catch a few fish, have a good time, and hopefully uh, share some information with you guys that you got value out of. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. Tight lines. We'll catch you on the water.